Apple unveiled a long-anticipated piece of hardware during its worldwide developers conference Monday. It's already been a big day, but we do have one more thing. That one more thing was the new Vision Pro mixed reality headset, the tech juggernaut's first foray into what it calls spatial computing. It'll run you $3,500, and it isn't out until next year. To break down this newest device, let's bring in Brian Heater, who attended Monday's conference. He's a hardware editor at TechCrunch. So, Brian, let's. Um, this is long anticipated yeah. augmented reality. Why is it such a big deal? So this has been about seven or eight years in the world at this point. A lot, obviously, a lot of companies have been trying AR. They've been trying VR. Apple's been in the VR space for probably about five or so years now. Um, this is a completely new approach to the technology that we haven't seen before, and Apple's really positioning it as something called spatial computing. So, so rather than you know the games that we see with a lot of the VR headsets, it's really a new way of interacting with your computer. And they're, they've also announced um, uh, some kind of a deal with Disney about this. So in other words, it's not just a, uh, a kind of gee whiz kind of thing. It appears that they are lining up some set of killer apps, to use a phrase from a bygone era. Yeah, that's right. Uh, content is obviously a big part of it, and it's important to take a step back and remember that we're here at the Worldwide Developers Conference. So it's really developers for a big part of the reason why Apple introduced the hardware right now that won't be coming out until probably early next year is to get this in the hands of developers, that people can create you know, applications, they can create games. Um, entertainment will be a big part of it. This is something that's designed to be you know, worn in your house to play games and watch TV. But at the end of the day, something I think a lot of people are losing sight of is that it really is, uh, it's, it's a business device. It's, it's a, a way of, you know, of using your computer on a large screen with, with gestures and voice. And what's the going theory about how this becomes a part of American life or doesn't? In other words, is it early adopters? Is the idea that there will be enough of a groundswell that we'll start to see this uh, the way we started to see Apple Watches? Which I, And is the Apple Watch a good analogy in terms of the level of, of what they're sort of announcing here? That much of a new kind of product? Uh, yeah, I've certainly been positioned as that. You know, Apple is really suggesting that this is the next thing, possibly even bigger than the Apple Watch. So it, it, it was the computer, the iPhone, the tablet. This this is the next computing device. Very, very early adopters right now. Um, it's not going to be mainstream con uh, consumers that are buying it at the beginning of next year. It's really going to be the developers. It's, it's the Vision Pro, and the reason why it's a Pro is because it, it, it's professional advice. Again, ideally, all of this content is created for this device. It starts trickling down to the for consumer. Example. A non-Pro version comes out, and, it's, and then uh, consumers hopefully will buy into it in the next you know, two or three years. And Brian, tell me about that. There's a new um, MacBook Air that has a, a chip that was made in-house. Um, with the chip wars and and uh, and supply chains shrinking during the pandemic, um, tell us why that's important. Yeah, so I've been developing chips in the house for some time now. They started with the iPhone. They've had these chips for I think about three years. Obviously, supply chain constraints were a, a really big deal. They moved away from Intel. Effectively, they're moving away from having to rely on third-party chip developers. Um, supply chain is, is a part of that, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to building the right hardware for your software and building hardware that, uh, because they have similar chip architectures, this thing can work seamlessly with you know your your iPad or your iPhone. Brian Heater, a hardware editor at TechCrunch. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.